a little bit over here let's see everybody if you can hear me right now make sure you guys hit that like button on your way in i think the stream is now working restream as usual and sometimes does like to cause some problems for me over here but again welcome back everybody welcome back to another stream hopefully everybody's having a great morning over here it is now the afternoon i'm in florida just you know it's the holiday week but i wanted to make sure that i wasn't gonna miss any of the streams with you guys and apparently we don't even have the market on monday so i don't have to miss anything so we are all good to go um but again, again guys make sure you guys hit that like button on the way in uh you guys killed it with the uh with the ankles on friday that was pretty fun we're probably not going to do that again today but i might have a special surprise for you and we might be able to auction off something else so if we we could pick a like threshold because i do have my dog right over here he's just kind of hanging out in the hotel room with me uh so maybe we'll show the dog at a certain amount but hopefully everybody's having fun over here happy birthday thanks pepe uh not my birthday but i really really appreciate that but hopefully everybody's having fun trade 1348 gang win it again i was taking a look at the the gain section out of you guys and invictus just started to fire off here too so hopefully that's doing pretty well we saw a lot of movement to the upside here for those of you guys that were on the private stream a little while ago we were kind of going through this tesla trade here which is pretty interesting i mean this in, uh, this alerted to the upside. It was just too close to that 200 there in order for it to be a valid trade. Now coming back down to the 200, if you look at the RSI. Ooh, look at this right here. Invictus sleeping in the morning. Slept in a little bit, but seven for nine right now. Now on the new platform, guys, 78 personal crosses coming in. Now, remember, guys, you do have a free trial period, and it is now two weeks. So, again, if you would like your two-week free trial over here, uh, make sure you guys check out that link in the top of the live chat. I can throw that in there for you guys as well. Again, if you really want to take your trading seriously and take it, to the next level and learn some things mainly risk management some proprietary trading algorithms which are nasty like invictus uh the the calculator the unusual options flow all the other alerts make sure you guys check it out again risk free for two weeks hop in with us team but let's see what we're gonna get again team i'm auctioning off my dog no i'm not auctioning off my actual dog he'll just like come on the screen for a little bit he's just like sleeping next to my shoes over here he's gigantic but we'll see Tessie coming down. It's starting to. So Tessie's starting to get that breakdown a little bit here. It's right at the 200 at 152.30. That'd be pretty interesting. My what? R rap. I'm, I'm doing what here? And it's rejecting over here again. The only trade that I... Again, if you guys have seen the reversal video I put out for you guys, the stop loss strategy and the risk management video, you guys knew how to play today absolutely perfectly. So I utilize the stop loss strategy and the reversal video stuff uh, for this Apple trade to the upside here, set my stop in profit and let the thing go. And I'm very, very happy that I did because that trade was up about what, 10, 11%. I still escaped with some profit, but look what happened after it just came right back down. So these are things that you have to be aware of in the market. Do not let green trades go red. And we're going to help you guys get every step of the way there. But let's see. He, I mean... Apple is slowly moving down here a little bit, but nothing crazy. So we'll see what happens going into the rest of the day here, but it's going to be fun, man. Shout out to everybody coming on the stream with me today. Love you guys. Let's see. Ooh, what are we at? 19 likes away from 50 already. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I think I'll give you guys 15. So at 150. If you guys can somehow get 150 likes on the stream, in 15 minutes, I'll bring the dog over. So you have 15 minutes to run it up to 150 likes. So let's see if you can do it. It's pretty bold. It's pretty bold. Auction off some ankle bracelets? No, 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 no. I, see, this one I don't think you guys can do. You did the 100 one. Now we're going to step it up to 150 and see if you guys can do it. But he's right here. He's just staring at stuff. Buddy, what are you doing? He's just like, dude, stop talking to me. Dogs from us like that? It's a little, it's a give and take. It, all right, you guys are within 100, and you got 15 minutes to do so, but let's see. So Spy is cracking its way down here. There goes Tessie a little bit. Uh, my sister-in-law is getting one of those dogs the day we arrive at their house in South Florida. Are you, don't you be stealing my dog. Don't you be stealing my dog. Your legs are not for sale. Well, too bad then you don't get to see the dog then. And you're not going to help everybody else do it either. Am I at family's? Sort of. I'm in a hotel room right now. I'll be at this hotel room all week. And then back Monday. All right. 
Let's see here. So spy slipping a little bit lower. Nothing too wild. Tessie breaking retest of the 200. How's this look? So Invictus still seven for nine. Look here. I want to see what the RSI is looking like along with MACD. Uh, fading. RSI blow. It's moving average. Still pointed up though. Ah, see, that's not terrible. Fine, you win. Let me see which has to give the dog a meatball. I'm not feeding my dog Italian food. Spy puts at 380. You can do whatever you like. I mean, nothing on this chart right now is telling me that this is an actionable move to the downside. I'm not touching it. I'm done. You guys, I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram and, and all that, you guys saw that the wins I had today, they were solid. You'll hold on to your crime Campbell knife optimism until later today. Well, 380 is going to be a level. I think they're going to defend a lot, but similar to 390, they might just blast through it at some point. So let's see what happens with this supposed Santa rally that a lot of these people were talking about. Again, if you listen to what Powell said uh, in the last FOMC meeting, absolutely nothing in that meeting was bullish. So if people are bullish, they are morons and they don't understand uh, macroeconomics or uh, like monetary policy at all in what Powell is uh, saying. Eight green days out of the last nine. Thanks, Vix. No problem, man. I mean, that's awesome. That's what we're here to do, man. Just help give you guys the tools uh, in order to really conquer this market. And again, for those of you guys that aren't in there yet, I don't know free trial that you get to take advantage of. So I'll throw that link um, into the live chat over here for all of you people. Let's see. Made 40% on your 160, 16 Tesla calls this morning. Then just scalp 5% on Tesla puts. Nice, bro. In before 40, 30 rally end of the week. Dude, uh, remember those people before that were like, oh my God, the market's going to go to 420? In the, or like, oh my God, Powell's going to pivot? Morons, bro. Absolute morons. All right, guys, so you have 13 minutes to somehow get the likes up to 150 to see the dog. You're at 70. You're almost halfway there. We're getting there, team. All right, there we go. Dude, look at that. Rejection off that 200, coming back down to the 13. Uh, the stop loss strategy you talk about, is that a video you made? Yes. I'll, uh, let me see if I can grab the video really quick. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll put that in here. And again, if you're in the uh, the put some of those videos in the new video section later today, um, we'll see right here. Let me grab the stop loss. There's the stop loss one. There's the uh, reversals one, which I believe is private to the community. And then the risk management guide is out there that you guys 1,000% need to be watching. Uh, where is it? Here it is. The reversal one's right here. Let me click on it. Yeah, so this is the reversal one right here. That's the reversal one. That one in the risk management. We need like 95% participation from the viewers on the life button. Well, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Don't you worry. You're like, half, oh, you're over halfway there now. The hotel Wi-Fi is bad. It keeps cutting out. Oh, sorry about that. It should be fine. There goes Tessie a little bit lower. Money, dude. Look at that. When the random pump on spy coming? <laughs> I don't know. It could do it at any time. Yeah, I don't think that you guys are going to be able to do this one, so maybe I'll bring the dog back another day. But he's just chilling. Hanging out. All right, there goes a little bit of a bounce on Neo. What's up with Neo? I mean, if it gets above that 48, you might see a little bit of action to the upside, but I'd be careful with some of these. Remember, again, with that risk management video, you guys all know exactly where to put your risk. It tightens it up so much. This looks like the Grinch slump. Powell was a naughty boy this year, and we're all getting cold for Christmas. <laughs> Is this actually my dog? Yeah, it's the same dog that you guys have seen. You guys have seen the dog before. Uh... Your coworker bought one of them three to four K stock market. Uh, uh, watch your shoes. Oh no! Yeah, Kevin. I mean, again, you can't, you can't, you can't listen to what people are saying. They're, they're idiots. These some of these people are just so stupid. Like you just see things in the live chat come up. They're like, "Oh, Powell's not going to raise rates," and it was like, "Are you stupid? Of course he is." Scammer. We need the dog. 
14% profit today, but still down 95 bucks on your year. You're getting there, man. You are getting there. Let's see. You had a chihuahua before? No, I had the same giant golden doodle, and he was just sitting there looking like a lion. Come on, Vic sends by to Iowa. I don't have that type of power. Maybe I should call up Atlas. <laughs> Be like, yeah, hey, boys, <laughs> short the fuck out of the market. <laughs> Send it to Iowa. I know you can do it. Oh, my God. That was fucking. Too soon? Is that too soon? Let's see. Oh, I forgot. They only like stocks that literally have no volume and barely trade. <laughs> Morons. It must be a synthetic dog. Well, you'll see it if in the likes of 150. Let's see. Oh, Ernie. Thank you so much for the super, my man. I appreciate that. Dude, you guys don't have to send supers in if you don't want to, but I really appreciate that team. Ernie, thank you so much for the super. Puts on MDGL 120 and 150. Ernie, let me take a look at the chart over there. And again, I'm probably just going to tell you the exact same thing that I'm going to tell everybody. Just read the chart. I can pull it up on the four hour and give you an insight into how it's looking. Oh my Lord, bro. Why is this stock up? 237 percent one when a stock is up 237 percent um the iv goes absolutely nuts i don't know why this is pricing it in like this is this like a reverse split or something okay so i see things do this i step away you can do whatever you want with this but this just looks like a wild pump i don't know what's going on here that is nuts ah bro what is going on with this thing it's the NASDAQ jackpot. I don't. Why is Vike? That's not this, but. What is this? Treatment for a liver condition known as NASH biotech firm. Uh, phase three of its drug. Okay. I don't like biotechs. That's the other thing. Biotechs and penny stocks. I don't like. This is a bit gnarly. Here. I, ooh, ooh, I don't know. I usually just. There goes Tessie right back down. So remember what Gabe and I were talking about there? It's like, yeah, the 200, you're looking at your risk there. I mean, again, you could have waited for a closing candle up here, but this is a high risk, high reward trade. Pepe, you just timed yourself out? <laughs> Pepe, you can't? You can't time out yourself. Pepe, 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 come on. You can't. Gabe was banking. Yeah, if he took if he took it when we were, I mean, we were talking about that. If it's like that crack down below the two hundred, and he's making money. There goes spy lower. I need to calm down. <laughs> All right, guys, you are what. 58 likes away from do it i don't know you got seven minutes left make sure you guys hit that like button on your way in let's see that's the bet for today last week it was ankles today it's the dog the stakes are higher because it is a dog didn't realize i could time myself out no no no. he can't he just has two accounts so what pep did was he had both of his accounts up watching the stream one of them's not so then he said something dumb on one account came back in with the other one and timed himself out <laughs> like bro oh my god all right man so let's see spy slipping lower new lows all right so spy just went to iowa let's see make the bed stop bro the bed's fine it's manipulation i don't know that i did i did summon the atlas gods i guess to send it to iowa but <laughs> like, what the I'm just walking dead. <clears throat> Remember our bold spy predictions when we were so spot on with them that I was like, I have to stop doing this because that's at this point, because I just started throwing out random guesses and I was like, there's no way. And then it would do it. And I was like, okay, we need to stop this. All right, team, you have five minutes to run up the likes to see the dog. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to get it. Uh, what are you going to do in Florida? Party Miami? No, 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 bro. I'm at like my family's place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Gabe destroyed the touch pretty no. Hey, what are you... 
was, I didn't ask you to speak. You just yelling over there. <laughs> speak. Oh, okay. I guess he just speaks by himself then. No, I'm not partying in Miami. I'll be partying for when I get back uh, for New Year's. That'll be fun. So that Tesla move was sweet. Yeah, you got five minutes. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. But again, remember, guys, um, if you do want to platform, get access to all the shiny toys and tools that we have to offer you guys. How's Invictus doing over here? Seven for 11. Not terrible today. It slept in in the morning. Uh, wasn't alerting anything because everything crossed down. But there was some money to be made with Invictus a little earlier today, too. Uh, how's Trader Joe doing? Trader Joe's up 19%. This is our daily algorithm that trades just normal rules in it with some other special sauce. How's Pythagoras doing? Pythagoras down six, so not terrible over here. You got the compounding calculator, the predictive daily crosses, the four hour, the daily, the three minute, and Invictus. And if you search over here, guess what happens? Look at this. You get all of the unusual options activity for it as well for any so again we're going to have some more educational videos out for you guys soon about how to use that but if you do want to lock in your free trial it is two weeks now um so make sure you guys come check that out the link is at the top but i will throw it in here for you guys as well <coughs> why am i in a motel i'm not in a motel let's see spy slipping yeah, spy slipping a little bit here. It hit 380.01. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. All right, guys. You have three minutes to get 51 likes to see the dog. You don't want me to say that. <laughs> Let's see here. Spy's teetering, man. I'm in Gabe's dungeon. I'm like, I'm like very far away from Gabe. All right, folks. What the? 380 was your target out of your puts. Nice, dude. Congratulations. That's a good hit. If you were if you were buying these in the morning or even the break of this 380 250 level down here, the second one, you killed it. Mm -hmm. You got two minutes now. Maybe I'll extend the timer on you guys because that would have been 10 likes a minute, and that's a bit crazy. Tesla kiss VWAP. Yeah, I would assume Gabe's out of these puts now. I mean, again, we're just talking about strategy reversals and stuff, team. Like, make sure that you understand the strategy behind everything. Um, I'll throw, I'll probably throw the stop loss video in uh, in tonight for new for the new videos, and then I'll probably throw in the uh, the re uh, risk management one tomorrow for those of you guys that haven't seen it. Yo, I see forty percent on AMC puts today. Congratulations. Else. that's a great hit yeah and and also the campaign on short form content this week too so make sure you guys are following me on instagram and tiktok too i think we're what is hold on one second oh okay yeah that's he slipping let's see oh uh... Dude, it's flirting with 380. It's flirting. No, nah, they don't want to get it. 380.01. Oh, uh, played Tesla's top down to the 48, out with a 10%er. For the day. Boric. Nice, man. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, if I was touch if I was looking at that, I probably would have played it to the 13 and then scaled out and stuff like that. I wasn't touching it, though. But yeah, Kells, that's a good hit there, buddy. 40%. Yeah, I hit the... Uh, the Babas and the Teslas for some really solid gains over there. Let's see. You inspire me? Christian, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. All right, team. So, yeah, I'll follow all you guys back on Instagram right now, too. Um... No Christmas from the stock market. 
no monday's off you get saying i didn't know that so that's the day i fly back to next level on spy below 380 370 i think it's like three i have 379 37 but below that is there's a lot of room there's a lot of room tessie at vwap let's see the macro bottom it's 338 that's it's the top of the covid zone that's where I'm looking at it to potentially like actually bottom, but who knows? Monday the 26th? Yes, that's it's closed that day. Oh, it's probably gonna be the worst travel day of all time, but gonna have to deal with it. It's all right. Yeah, no market that day. Closes at two Friday, but everything else is open till four. And this is all Eastern time. Do you think uh, it goes to 370 this month? Mm, maybe. I think this has been pretty aggressive selling. I mean, it's down what, $30 since 410? That's a lot, man. That's getting down to this is, is a big move so we'll see where it wants to go from here it's, i mean apple still hasn't broken 52 week lows yet if spy ends up coming back down to like 370 360 i think you could see apple at like 115 minimum we'll see though we'll see what it wants to do everybody all right so keeping that like button on the way and if i'd say if we get if we hit 250 likes get the dog over here let's see Is the market also closed the day after New Year's? It better be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure New Year's is a Saturday, though. Like, oh, the first, I think, is a Sunday, but the second, I think it's open. 2023, Monday, January 2nd, New Year's holiday observed. What? Dude, we get that day off, too? Dude, this is crazy. Leave the poor puppy out of it. Look what you're doing to his self-esteem. He's fine. He just feels bad that, like, you guys won't like the damn stream. He look. He looks so sad right now. Like I'm just looking at him, and he's like on the verge of tears. It's okay. I think they like you, but I don't know. <laughs> New Year's Eve is a Saturday. So hyped. Will I grow a 1980s mullet? No, he's taking it personal. He is, dude. He looks so sad. He's just hanging out. He's like, why don't they love me? <laughs> All right, folks, let's see her again over here. If Tessie breaks VWAP and comes back down, that's going to be nasty. Yeah, he wanted his time in the spotlight. You guys are just hurting his feelings. It's okay, though. I, as long as I like him. If it was ankles, then it would have been up already. <laughs> that was a dog. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah i mean if you were looking at the tesla that's at bare minimum a scale out use a stop loss strategy let's see you're still in tesla the tiny amount night i mean good for you man if you're if if you're up a lot on it good for you that rsi is just cooking dude fire Let's see, is Invictus alerting back to the downside now? Yeah, so 58% now. So some of these are reversing. Let's see if it starts to flash into the other side now and hits everything back around. But that first wave of Invictus alerts was nasty. Put peanut butter on my ankles. No, sorry. 27% out of boy, Christopher. I think my puts from this morning were up. What? I mean, they were on my they're on my Instagram story. What are they at? <laughs> What are they at? So yeah, those were basically 29, 28.99. And then the uh, the Babas were another 28. So those were sweet. There she goes. Yeah, it's slipping. Uh, you only had one contract, so I sold it. Rather take your gains and be positive. 100%, Daniel. The other thing that you can do is, I mean, you can use the stop loss strategy on your entire position if it just keeps going. All right, Tesla's R side just slipped below 50. Yeah, it also got a closing candle below VWAP here. That's, dude, look at that. Let's 
Oh, here comes Spy. Let's see if they let it crack. Oh, new low. Hit 380. That's in Iowa. If they let this slip, it might get nasty. Fold down below. Here we go. All right, team. Keep hitting that like button on the way in. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys are getting your free trials, man. Make sure you're hopping in. Uh, you know, some silly boomers who have a buy and hold mentality on Tesla. It's funny. Yeah, I don't mm, see. There's a lot of other nonsense going around with Tesla now than there was previous. If you look at it, it's still wildly overvalued, I believe. I'd have to look at it, but I don't think Tesla is going to be something that I throw long-term money into at this point. I think it's going to be more AI. Uh, can AMD break 70 this week? Okay. Can do anything, man. I mean, that's the thing. I just trade the chart in front of the strategy that we're using. It's very simple. Ooh, did the, did we just slip? Yeah. So it flashed three seventy nine ninety seven. So it's below three eighty right now. It's flickering. You didn't get the cascade, so there might be buyers sitting here trying to fight this thing. Let's see. Where's Tassie? Let's see. Tesla retesting the 48. Yeah, it's, it's trapped here. I mean, that's it, playing this down to VWAP is not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I would have been probably out of this or at least scaled out using the stop loss strategy and letting the thing go. Let's see. Oh, I thought you meant sal salty boom. That makes more sense. There it goes. There spy goes. Watch, watch 379.37. Here it comes. Ah, mark it down. I like it. All right. So we're making new lows over here. Bounce a little bit back to 380. That's pretty big. I mean, that's a pretty big, I mean, it's only bucks today. I mean, that's still decent size. Mary knife miss. It's the knives were like this morning. This was great. I was going to get more coffee when this happened and I, my stop and profit and I looked at my phone and my Tesla contracts went from being up 12% to like 30. And I was like, okay, thanks. I was like, all right, man. <laughs> Keep moving with the stop up. Those were dirty. Tessie Invictus down. Hey, you can risk the 13. I mean, I'm not touching it. That's kind of how I would look at it here. Yeah, Tessie. Yeah, man. Invictus has been nasty. So, I mean, again, some of these did reverse, catching it, catching the earliest one. The early ones were pretty solid. Apple didn't end up getting it, but that's why you use the stop off strategy combined with the revert. Guys, I'm telling you, you have all the information that you need to know out there. If you watch Gabe's core concept, 1340 risk management, stop loss strategy and reversals. Oh my Lord. It's just a different way of looking at the market, man. People just don't look at the market like this. They just look at this Tesla move up and they're like, I want calls up here. And it's like, well, you can't do that. That's not how this works. Let's see. Yeah, we can pull up coin for a second. Eh, that's a sandwich. I probably wouldn't touch that. That's an EMA sandwich here. It's just flatlined. You got VWAP. You got the 13 and the 48 just kind of hovering here. Spy. Closing candle down below in 380. That's not ideal. Why is VWAP so important? It's not. I mean, it's not the most important thing. It's just, I would say it's like as important as the 13, the 48, or the 200. Just in my opinion, it's another level on the chart where you could see price screw around at. 33% thanks Tesla. Christopher, absolute monster there. Congratulations, buddy. There it 
There you go. It's easy to take a dump. So does the live line. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. See that, that candle closed down below 380 is not great. This is that hit 379.60. Uh, here it goes. U.S. stocks extend fall. S&P 500 down 1%. Uh oh. Spaghetti. Yep. It's selling, man. This is getting a little spicy. See, I mean, again, I think that the level that I would be looking at 350 is getting there. Four and a half percent in the portfolio. I love, I love seeing you guys win, man. That is awesome. Guys, if you're not getting in there for that free trial, I don't, I literally don't know what you're doing. It's free, completely risk free. If you don't like it, then you guys can leave. You can just leave. But, with the results that our, our community has been having with, uh, with just the strategy, again, it's not about a single person. It's not me calling the plays. It's not Gabe calling the plays. I think that is actually wildly hurtful to everybody, and it's illegal. Um, so the system and the algorithms that we provide for you guys has added layers to the videos and the curriculum that we teach you guys. It's, I mean, that's why we have so much success that we do. Those videos keep printed, team. This is getting gnarly. So you're right at the next level here on the spy. This is getting silly. Dude, uh, what do you call it? Trader Joe and Pythagoras must be killing it. How's Trader Joe doing over here? Still at 19%. So I, that'll probably flicker around a little bit later. Yeah, Pythagoras is still about six. But, I mean, he's been short. Pythagoras is shorting everything. Short, 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 short. He's literally shorting the entire market. Look at this. Every single trade here that's on Pythagoras is all short. So let's see how Pythagoras is going to get by the end of the day. Trader Joe is probably going to be doing – Trader Joe's all short as well. Look at this. Short, 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 short. These algorithms are killer, dude. So let's see how Invictus goes a little bit later. Coin reverse, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's just kind of flickering around over here. They won't be happy until SPY goes down to 320 and retail sells. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean – I think th I think 338. That's and that's a literally just a guess because it's the top of the COVID zone. That's it. Uh, I personally want to say thank you for teaching us. I paid off my house and setting up my family for a great life. Marcus, I really appreciate that, buddy. Dude, I mean the success stories are are really awesome. I, I mean that's what we're here for, man. Um, knowing that you guys are are really bettering yourselves over here. Again, you guys. Know we, we we always deal with a lot of BS, but like the thing is, is that you can't, we're not going to stop because we have so many people that have just looked at this system, kept trading simple, aimed for the base hits and stopped hunting for these moon tickets and are putting the power of compounding on their side. So congratulations to all of you guys that have hopped in there with us already. And again, there's still time. Um, three week free trial over here. Ernie, thank you so much for the super buddy. I appreciate that. CEI reverse split Wednesday, 50 to one. Uh, see the problem with cei is that it's probably so it's this is the issue with cei ernie um and robert thank you so much uh for the super i will hit that one in a second as well the problem with cei ernie is that if you pull up the chart on it it's, um if you look at this on the daily it is it is just completely sold off aggressively the problem is is that you're gonna have a lot of people that even if this thing wants to run a little bit you're gonna see like it's just gonna get stifled down because everybody who's a bag holder on this thing is gonna try to get whatever they can so even if it runs run sell run sell because everybody doesn't want to hold on to this thing especially after what happened in all the nonsense with atlas because they were just pumping and dumping the crap out of this thing look the market cap is 80 million i mean they throw money at this thing it just goes bing um which is why i don't like talking about these stocks ever but um again if oil runs you could see it go i just don't like talking about these things reverse splits are never a good thing um so let's get tesla back over here and robert thank you so much for the super buddy i appreciate that hey man i'll be in and out all week pretty busy season for me um but i wanted to say merry christmas and i appreciate everything you guys do i appreciate you guys as well man thank you robert i appreciate that um just don't forget to put aside to pay taxes yeah don't it's not my area of expertise taxes not <laughs> dude i just go to my account and say what do i have and then i always try to set up my estimates in a way where i'm paying more holy tesla oh my god look at that dude Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that, dude. Spy very close to breaking 378. Ah, that's a dollar away. It could do it, though. It could definitely do it. 
Where's Baba now? I kind of want to see where Baba's at. Where's Baba? Actually, here's what we're going to do, because this will probably pull up the crosshair again. And Baba's... Dude, why is this? Oh, there it is. I mean, it's basically down at these levels here. I mean, I got out here, I think. I think it was around here as it was coming back up. I got stopped out and profit on, so that's fine. I'll take that all day long. All right, team. Keep hitting that like button on the way in. Make sure you guys are hopping into the community for a three-week free trial. Let's get after a spy little bounce back up here. Should we ask TMI about taxes instead? <laughs> that, was, that was a good joke, Zero. That was a good one. Uh, thanks to 1348, Amazon giving me hella overtime. I have enough disposable income to use your account for playtime, not just extra. Awesome, man. Congratulations. That's awesome, man. I mean, uh, that's the name of the game. So... I mean, we have some crazy things coming for you guys. We're going to start working with Hot Potato on this on this brand new uh, aspect of our platform in January, which that's going to be super cool. We're going to have a mobile app at some point. I mean, we have so I, I can't wait for you guys to see it. And the affiliate program is about to go live too for all you guys that were wondering about that. Let's see here. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Robert and Ernie, thank you guys so much for the supers. I know uh, we had another one before Ernie. Yeah. Special thank you to you, buddy, for sending that in. I appreciate that guys. Amazon 11 cents from 52 week lows. Ugh, that's not good. That's no bueno. The name, the key is Apple though. One pull breaks, 128. Uh Oh, spaghetti. Oh, can't wait for the phone app. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. I mean, we're going to continue doing what we're doing, man. We have some other crazy things that we're working on too. I have my grand plan and my grand idea of what uh, we want to end up doing with platform having one aspect of it, and it's huge. So eventually that will be out. And remember, uh, as you guys have seen and uh, imitate or copy what we do, um, but they're never going to be as good as the real thing. So you guys have seen it. <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. But yeah, our platform is absolutely pristine. Shout out to Andy. Um for, for building that out for us. Andy, you did a phenomenal job. That thing looks super clean. Um, but yeah, man, it's awesome. Can't wait for the phone app. Yeah, it's going to be sweet, man. All right, everybody. Keep hitting that like button. Oh, you're killing it, dude. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. So one 1348 hedge fund? Probably, probably not. Why? You guys got to, so there's, a, there's, a, there's some very specific nuances uh, in like money management stuff. Had, you wouldn't have, I mean, you could have an, like an aspect of a fund that actively trades, but it's not, it, you can only scale so far. Essentially, you'd have to get into futures and commodities, which is a whole and, uh, other problem by itself. If you're trading index futures, you're fine. But most, most of the time, you're going to see a little bit of nonsense. Like it's, like, okay, so let's just think about Rita, for example. We can't release Rita to everybody because, one, for what we see right now, Rita is performing really, really well. And then when you also have that combined with the fact that if you had people using it and throwing serious money at these options that expire that week at the money, whereas there's the highest gamma, you'd force gamma squeezes. You can't do it. Um, the other thing is that there's going to be slippage involved. Like, there, there's a lot of different things. Just like you can scale to infinity because – <clears throat> if you had a strategy that worked like this, all the big funds would do it. And there's certain strategies that work with smaller amounts of money. And there's certain things that work with larger amounts of money. There's different risks involved. You have to, you have to answer to invest. There's a lot of different things involved there. Free Rita. We're probably never going to be free in Rita. There might be a, if we approve it with like lawyers and stuff, there might be a uh, shares Rita at some point, but options read it now. What about release Rita only lifetime members? Nope. It won't. Nope. It won't. Nope. Even even now, there's too many of them. Because think about this. Like, even if you had one person, one person, like one big whale that had a $10 million portfolio, you're putting, depending on the allocation, let's just say it, it was with normal 1348 rules, which Reed has got a lot of different things in there. So one of them would be, one of them's not, but let's just say the allocation is set a position. 
on like snap at the money on a Monday and it expires that week, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to show unusual flow all over the place. You're going to get call sweep alerts. People are going to start buying it. And then the stock gets artificially pumped because one person bought a shitload of options on it. You can't do that. That's completely a big no, no. You'll show me your ankles. I'm not, no, we're not doing you guys. Um, I don't want to see your ankles. You guys are weird, bro. Uh, it's already a phone app. I have it as an app on your phone already. Yeah, you can do a web app. SEC <laughs> shows up at Gabe's house. Yeah, we're not playing. Like, that's why we, we, we've created this whole thing in the way that we have. It's, it's an alert system. It's a strategy. And we make it easier for you guys to find these things happening in the market. Let's see. Can we at least see Rita's ankles like it's the 1940s? No. Stop. <laughs> Don't be weird. Tesla puts? Eh, I mean, we were talking about the Tesla reversal a while ago. And I mean, I know Gabe was in it, but where is it now? All right. That's not Tesla. That's Tesla. I don't like that right now. Spy flash 380. It's kind of flickering around here. Not worth it. In my opinion, learn the system and trade like a bot. Exactly. If you ever see Rita anywhere or it's, you see a number of how much Rita's up, it's, it's trading with Invictus. So if you see Rita's doing very well and you aren't, well, then you have to then think to yourself, what is Rita doing that I am not? Because Rita's just a bot that's, that's falling. Hold on. Give me one second here i think that was a butt dial there's an app for the website you can make it a web app it's not like an actual but it, it will be there at some point let's see all right folks keep hitting that like button on the way in let's get after it man i mean there's i don't really think there's all that much opportunity at these levels in the market right here but we'll see we'll see i mean i know you guys crushed it again today let's see what do we got here you figured it out nice streams chop sorry about that guys it's just the the wi-fi that's we're gonna have to make do this week i don't think it's that bad though like i haven't seen anything on on my end that said it's bad let's see though so next monday we'll be back at the normal normal streaming setup with all my high-speed internet hopefully don't cut the dang power on me when i go back invictus is already a crystal ball no need for rita but still free rita yeah, I mean, if you were, if I was swinging a call on Amazon, how much time would I get? Three months? Dimbleton, why would you swing an Amazon call, bro? Like, we, I feel like we go over this a lot. Like, what's the reason for swinging an Amazon call? Are you trying to play the bounce off of, like, the load? But nothing on this chart is telling you to do that. So if you were to buy, if you were to buy le like, long, like, longer dated options on Amazon, you almost are just saying, you almost, like, even at this point when this is selling off so much, you almost would just be better off buying leaps. Like, because nothing short term right here. Is telling you that this thing's about to go up. Everything on this, be a little careful with this. 10.69% 10, 10 of the portfolio with run running one running NCLH contract up 50% sitting on hands unless a juicy reversal shows up. Astro, awesome, dude. That is unbelievable. Uh, Dimmelson, please try to follow the rules, buddy. Tesla put when you were with Gabe Paid, my 10% is eh? Nice, dude. There you go. There you go. How do we turn on the audible alerts on the new platform? Uh, I don't think that feature is out yet. I think it's coming very soon, though. Uh, will Elon step down from Twitter and make Tesla go up, or is he just playing games? He's probably just playing games. I mean, we talked about the, the like, Elon, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll go over this again right now, because Elon, and I heard this all, I mean, I'll give full credit to where this idea came from. It's the All In podcast. If you guys don't listen to that one, you probably should. Um, but when, when you think about Elon and what he does and he's really good at he's really good binary problems 
This is how I view it. So he either gets it right or he doesn't, and it's very objective whether or not he's correct. Think about it like this. Does full self-driving work or not? Does the rocket launch or does it not? Like, does the does the boring company enable you to actually go from one place in the city to another very quickly? It's binary. It's is he able to accomplish these feats of engineering and like feats of physics? The problem with Twitter is it subjective what his success is. Now you can say that it's not subjective, and you can use essentially like like profitability metrics to say whether or not he's being. But what he's going to do, and I think he's seen this, is that he is making himself an overall polarizing, a more polarizing individual than he may want to be. Chamath and SoFi, though, I think he's a very smart individual. And and, I mean, we can have a separate conversation about Chamath. I don't think that anything would take away from the fact that the guy is smart. I'm saying, Pepe, I'm saying his success at Twitter is not, is not like, it's not binary. It's not success or failure. So when you think about it now, if Elon changes something and Twitter's a lot more profitable, but a lot of people are pissed off about the change, well, that's not necessarily a win for Elon. And think about the implications. If he then makes all of these like other elites very angry, it makes what he wants to do a little bit harder. Because think about it like this. If Anybody other than Elon went to California. I want to dig holes and tunnels under the city and just shoot cars across. What do you think they'd say to him? They probably like to somebody that isn't Elon. They'd be like, all right, settle down, dude. Stop taking your psychedelics and figure it out. We're not letting you do that. But because it's Elon, they kind of let him do whatever he wants. He has Tesla and SpaceX and all that stuff. And he knows how to basically spend actual and human capital. Now, the problem is, is that what if he makes everybody angry at him? And now it's more like politically motivated and what Elon is allowed to or not allowed to do anymore. What does that do? One, it limits what Elon can do. And it also hurts the prospects of like overall engineering and physics feats of him going in the future, like of humanity in the future. <clears throat> so when you think about it that way, it's not risk of, oh, Twitter, Tesla stock price. It's whether or not the powers that be are going to continue to enable Elon to have free reign with whatever projects that he wants to do. Remember, Elon already has to deal with a bunch of nonsense. Like, I think way back, the, like the, the what was it, San Francisco SEC was always messing with him. Um, there was a time when like Biden did like this EV conference and they wouldn't let him in like all that. He already has to deal with stuff anyway. Are they going to make it a lot harder? Hold on. I'm getting another call. I think I keep getting butt dialed, but that's how I Elon's thinking. Like, could he make a bunch of money on Twitter? Yeah, he could in like five to 10 years if he, if he's able to like create like a WeChat and bring it back out to the public market and, and get some crazy valuation. Maybe when rates are a little bit lower and there's more room for growth and, and people are a little bit more excited about the prospect of growth companies, but the risk reward right now, I don't think he thought that through. Like he probably did. And he just said, screw it. But seeing the implications of it right now, don't make a whole lot of sense for him. I would personally, I'd rather Elon do, like again, like, cause the thing is, is that if he, He's going to continue to try and make Twitter great, but you can't please everybody. Somebody's always going to get angry. I'd rather Elon spend his time like figuring out how to like get to bars or like cool things like that that can actually help people and it's pretty binary where it's like he's successful or he's not successful. And the actual results of him being successful is a lot of good happening. Not Twitter. Twitter's a cesspool to begin with. Like you guys see it. You guys see people on my Twitter all the time when people are like complete morons. It's like some people you just are not going to please. It's okay. Everybody's always going to have something to say. So. But that's kind of how I feel about the Elon Twitter stuff. It's like from. It's like I think that a lot of the things that. If you say Elon should spend his money feeding the world, I swear. No, I don't think that either. If he can find a solution to like have, have people more food, yeah, that's fine. But like not his money. It's his he can do whatever he wants with his money. The world 
world has decided that Elon is uh, to have that capital. So whatever capital he has, he then gets to decide how to allocate it. He's he has decided to allocate it towards Twitter. Cool. It's his choice. He can do whatever he wants. But if he changes his mind, that's also his prerogative as well. So we'll see. Stop sitting on my phone. People are butt dialing me. I'm not butt dialing people. All right, everybody, keep hitting that like button on the way in. Let's see what happens over here. And again, make sure you guys are signing up for your free trials too. You get a full 14 days free. Let's see. All right. Yeah, spy is not looking good. So down another percent on the day. But do you guys see what I'm coming? It's like, is it really worth it? We have like one dude that can actually do a lot of good if he decides to. You signed up for lifetime free trial? There, I don't think there is a free trial for lifetime. But Josh, if you did want to come into Lifetime, we appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Elon can be impulsive, kind of gets in trouble because of it, but he doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. Why would he care? He actually has a few money, but he also doesn't. Like, this is what people don't understand. Like, like the concept of like F you money is like, I'm, I appreciate that, buddy. Shout out to all the Lifetimers over there. You guys are, you guys are rock stars, man. Um, but like, he doesn't have F you money. Like, the thing is, is that can he just leave and do whatever he wants and never have to do anything ever? Yeah, but, like, one, he's not going to allow that to happen. But if he starts doing things, he can Like, people can still come after him. Love you guys. That's why I had to get Lifetime. Morrow and 5K Squeeze, we appreciate you, man. Morrow, Josh Doe, um, all uh, 5K Squeeze, all you guys. Shout out to you guys for hopping into Lifetime with us. We really appreciate you guys. We're going to have some really cool things coming for all of you soon. Let's see. All right. Ooh, 10 likes away from 150. Thank you, team. I appreciate that. Yeah, and again, like I said before, like without you guys uh, really trusting in us and, and coming into our uh, previously existing, I was just crying over here. See what you guys did to him? Now he's crying. It's all right, buddy. You're going to be okay. Uh, risk of good faith. Dinged with a good faith violation, they restrict you from buying with unsettled funds. That's all they do. You can stop laughing from the morning. The NVIDIA button? Oh, that's the first time you've heard that? Yeah, the NVIDIA button's cool. We want you to cry? Why do you want me to cry? That's not very nice, Wayne. Can you stop crying, please? I know the internet... You can't just, like, cry about it. Is that a mutt? Nah, he's... Well, technically, yeah, he's a golden doodle. All right, let's see. All right, let's spy slipping. Nancy slipping a little lower here, too. Where's Tessie? All right. Ah, it's hunting the cross down. Where's uh, Invictus? Still 54. Let's see if it gets this Tesla and Netflix one. Yeah, the coin one reversed. I don't know how that reversed. I mean, now coin cross, so there it is there. Pay my internet. Wait, I'm at a fucking hotel. Stop with your all caps. <laughs> Relax. I can't do anything about it. Everything is, I know, but they, uh, we, I had one, like I had one before him. Like I was, I, we front ran the golden doodle craze and guess what? His name was Fenway. Okay, bro. <laughs> Wait, piss me off. Let's see. Hey, Vix, 12.78% on the day. This spy fall is golden. Done trading. Phoenix, at a boy. At a boy. Whose girlfriend am I meeting in a hotel? Nobody. 
I'm in Florida. I have to be in a hotel all week. <laughs> My bad. Thank you, Wayne. Set and move. Stop off strategy, buddy. There you go. I'm telling you, those hidden gems are out there. Let's see. Dude, I need like water or something. I had like four coffees today. It's too many. Was his name Fenway because he shits in his pants? No, squirrel. <laughs> it's not. Not why his name. Oh, nice. A rolling water bottle. Nice. Thanks, dude. You just got the Key West. I'm directionally terrible, so I don't even know. Where like that is. It's probably around here. But not thanks, Eric. Stops running all the way down, but it's nothing enough. Dude, I mean th that stop loss strategy is by Cuba. I mean, I'm probably pretty close there too. All righty, folks. You can send someone for me? No, it's fine. I got one. It just came rolling in. <laughs> yeah, and shout out to you guys that are sending in super say. You guys know you don't have to do that. Again, if you're going to do anything, guys, I mean, put it, the, the way that I view it is most of the, most of you, it's gonna, the money's going to get spent anyway. Don't just send it to me, man. Um, come get your free trial with 1348 in the new platform. Um, come test it out with us. I mean, personally, I don't think you will be disappointed in, in a lot of the results of our members who have who've listened to the strategy and used the system uh, with Invictus and all those other algorithms are having a lot of success. But again, come test it out. You get two weeks for free. Uh, if history is important for investors, traders, how far back should one understand history? Uh, it depends. It depends on what's relevant. So you have to look back uh, at times when things were behaving similarly. So like the 80s, like periods of high inflation, things like that. So, I mean, you can go all the way back to however differences that you have to understand, like the key nuances between the time periods. But there are lessons to be learned from all, all these different time periods where markets were just freaking out. All right, team. Five likes away from 150. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Uh, and yeah, remember, for all you OGs in here uh, that haven't transferred over to platform yet, uh, the end of the month is the last time uh, for you guys to get that $49 discount deal. So after that, I mean, it's, that's going to be non-negotiable. Um, that's when the promotion ends for the switch over. If you miss it by then, there's not really much that we can do. So make sure that you platform at your easiest, soonest convenience. And you get a discount too. So whether you're, you're a 69er or a 96er, you're still getting a solid discount. All right, but let's see. So it's by... Here it goes. Googling the All In Podcast. It's a good one, man. I listen to that every week. Every week I listen to that one. Let's see here. All right. And yeah, we're moving around a little bit. I mean, Spy's selling off. You know, that's getting a little aggressive there. Tassie slip, or that's coin, sorry. So the coin one, it was actually marked as a reversal, but it did end up crossing. So, yeah, so right now Invictus is 8 for 14, 57% on the day. Let's see. So we got Cross right here. We got Tesla active. That's going to be good. Roblox, when did that come through? Oh, three minutes ago. So the Tesla should cross. Yeah, so Tesla cross. So that should show SPY hitting new lows as we speak. Let's see. 11% on TQQQ puts. Nice, guys. There we go. Hey, you guys are killing it, man. I mean, there's no way around it. It's the results speak for themselves.
Also, for those of you guys that were wondering about Andy's favorite word, it is it is ready to go. I know a couple of you guys have found it. So we'll have a we'll have a, a bigger announcement for you guys when it's time to actually uh for those of you guys that do want to be affiliates, we'll uh we'll get you going over there. But wait for an announcement about that. Woohoo, two percent on the port. I'm done. AR guys back. Dude, you guys are killing it today. Love you guys. All right, let's see what's going on on Twitter. Is it just circle jerking as usual? <laughs> All right, team. So it's eh, bounced a little bit here. Let's check out Invictus. Yeah, 60% now, 9 for 15 on Invictus. Let's see what Roblox wants to do. Cords are, yeah, it's getting there. Roblox is getting there. So let's see what happens with this one. Let's see how this plays out. Don't you guys just love front running everybody else? But have tried to copy us with the with the crosses. It's like, oh yeah, well we created something that enables you to predict it before it happens. <laughs> With a decently high degree of certainty too, and again, it's all like it, all the information about like Invictus, it's all out there for you guys every single day. The 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 success rate is always out there. So if it has a bad day or if it has a really good day, it's always out there for you guys. You're starting your YouTube and Vivo channels in 2023. I want the free time to be brought to you by 1348 Nico. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Lance, what? Why are we singing over here? <laughs> Playing any FedEx earnings? Nah, nah, no earnings, no thank you. Let's see. I was humming the scale, bro. Was I? Oh, dude. Again, remember, I used to play a bunch of instruments. Like, I can play. I started playing the guitar a little bit more now because um, I'm ours uh, kicking around. So I like screw around on those. I can play like the um, <clears throat> like the Punisher theme song and stuff like that. Um, super simple stuff. Um, I can play. The, I used to be able to play the saxophone really well, the upright bass, the bass guitar, piano. It's, it's always me. I always have stuff kicking around. Piano and voice, nice. I actually didn't really like playing the piano. It just wasn't for me. I like I've like screwed around with it before and like done things that I wanted to learn, but piano lessons I always hated. <clears throat> That's what they told my parents when they had me tested as a child because I couldn't speak. I'd like the worst stutter of all time, uh, and they were like wrong with him. <laughs> and it turned out that I'm ambidextrous, so both sides of my brain fire off super quick. So they were like, "He's probably gonna be pretty good at music." And they were like, why? They were like, hey, it's just, it is what it is. And then I can play a bunch of instruments. Pretty cool. I can throw with both my arms. I write with my left hand. I'm more dominant throwing with my right. I can do a lot of cool things. A lot of things that people don't really care about, though. Like mini golf or darts or like, like random ping pong. But let's see here. Spy moving back up a little. Ooh, Roblox sold off into a little bit there. Can we look at Roblox? Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. So it's getting there. Piano's hard. You too had a massive stutter. Oh, that's pretty cool, Lance. Yeah, mine was really bad. Mine wasn't like, mine would be like where like you just like put yourself on repeat. So it would just be like, does your date care about the things you're good at? I don't know. So SCV is Forrest Gump. I can't run though. I'm like bad at running. You should try turntables or beat matching. See, Carl, here's the thing. I actually think I'd be really good because as a, when I was a, when I was in fourth grade, we had this thing that we had to do. And this was like, right as I started playing instruments too. And you could like write your own music and it would play and you could like kind of select the instruments that I was playing. And I would just like write things and it was like random. And, but it was like, I'd made things sound good. So I'd go like, dit, dit, and I would like, 
go through it and I could like make these songs. I always thought that like if everything like went to that could probably be my hobby. Like get like the just become like Fred again. I think I could do it too. Like that's the one thing that I've never tried that I I always felt that I'd be really good at. Andy's favorite word. Uh oh. Yeah, so that's leaking. Somebody's flying in with their helicopter. Yeah, but wait for uh wait yeah we're gonna give you guys the big announcement we'll uh we'll get those approvals out to you guys when we are ready. But it's almost it's basically ready. Andy's favorite word. <laughs> yeah, Roblox coming down. It looks like it's gonna get that cross. Let's see. Keeping that like a oh, you guys are great. Like Bodie, how's it going? Up twenty eight point seven percent on the day. Done just watching my longer plays, bro. You're up. That's insane. That's absolutely insane, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I love this. Is great. What approval? We just have to approve you in the system. I I, I probably could go in there right now and just click approve, but. We're streaming right now, so. <laughs> you guys are just. <laughs> Have you reminded people to sign their agreements? Oh, yeah, on the platform, too. Make sure that you guys are signing your agreements. Like, just for the, like, data usage and stuff like that. Tesla? I mean, we, Gabe and I were talking about the Tesla rejection that was coming up from the, like when we were flirting above the 200 EMA here and what we're we using RSI. People are always like, oh, it's a lagging indicator. Guys, I use RSI in the MACD every single day, every day. Say affiliates again. <laughs> Phoenix, I, I see you can't, I looked at it. I looked at the, I looked at the pending people over there and just, I see. I see. Yeah, we just have to manually approve people. So we just go click, sign what agreement. How do you know if you signed it? It should have been in the sign up process. If you have access to everything, you should have all the data. <clears throat> then, then you should have signed your agreements and you should be good to go. If not, it's probably in your settings. Yeah, and guys, get ready for the short form content stuff tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna start slow with it. I've got some fun ones. So all of the short form content that's coming out, shorts get squeezed tomorrow. Good luck with that, Bob. But uh, they start off a little slow. They're all pretty fun. And then they're going to slowly start to ramp up. So that's going to start on Instagram and TikTok tonight. Uh, so probably at 6 or 7 Eastern is when I'm going to start posting those videos. So get ready. That'll be fun. I know which one I'm going to post today. I have like an order sort of in my head to like build gems in there. I've been working on these for like two months. I've got like 10 of them just backlogged, ready to release to you guys. Mom, I'm TikTok famous. I don't know. I think I've got like 30-something TikTok followers with no content over there. Nice. It's the same handle as the Instagram and TikTok as well, or Instagram and Twitter. <clears throat> short the VIX one. Get, I don't get it. Why? I mean, I could see a little relief bounce, but like not short squeeze. Like what? what? Okay. I'm not going to be an asshole. Bob, what is the thesis behind why you would, uh, why you think the market's going to rip? Because it's fine. We can have a conversation about it. I'm not going to be a dickhead about it. I just personally think after what Powell said and, and, and what's been floating around the internet that a lot of the bullish stuff that people are, are saying um, is geared towards hurting retail. But I would like to know why you think it. Okay, hear me out. I will, 100%. You think that? Because right now, I don't really have a bias. We've already sold off from 410 to 380. We could easily bounce. But short squeeze, don't think so. That's kind of where I'm looking.
Oh, I'll follow some of you guys back on the Instagram over here. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, the first one's fun. It's not too crazy. It's pretty mild. All right, Bob, let's for us. Between now uh, and earnings coming around mid to late January. Okay, fair. Let's see. So I somehow got through the gate. No tag, super skinny. Guess I'm keeping a dog. What kind of dog is it? Won't go straight down, but follow the system. It will tell you when it will attempt to fill any partial or full gas well. Yeah, perfectly fine. You think the market can hit a little relief rally? Yeah, but okay. So here's the other thing, Bob. What do you think the rally to 410 was? That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like, okay, so we saw the rally to 410 off the pivot hopes, the hopium on the pivot, which didn't happen, which made a lot of sense. Hold on. Ooh, I got a haircut scheduled down here too. Killing it, dude. All right, let's see. Right, but what I'm saying, like, you may have already seen the relief rally to 410. So could it get back to 390? Hey, could. It could. Back in, but again, is it really a Santa rally if we go from 410 to 380 to 390? Not really. Like, you're still down 20 points. Technicals coming in. That I can agree with. Sold all your puts today. I mean, if you banked on the puts, dude, that's perfectly fine. Spy about a cross down on the daily. Yeah. Oh, Santa rally, rally is relative to when you buy. Yeah, dude. Like, if it rallies on Friday and you and you buy on Friday, like, you're going to play a little bounce. Yeah, Bob, hopefully you just have. I mean, it's not something that I would do. Uh, take these overnight bets. I feel more comfortable just navigating intraday every single day. I mean, if I want to take a shot at something, I will. I'll usually hedge it, but. A relief bounce is not a short squeeze. There it is. That's it, Moonbound. Exactly. So, Bob, be careful with short squeeze. Any ideas on AMC? Not nah, ever since Ape, I've made my ideas and, and thoughts on it very clear. Um, I mean, they've raised, what, $160 million versus 30 It's better, but they burn cash like a lottery so if they pay off the debt, that's good, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Like Ape is a great idea in practice. The problem is, is the execution was so God awful that they've only been able to raise 160 million. If they were able to raise a billion off of it. Okay. That's a different story. That's a very different story. 160 million at like, uh, the relief rally will be a whipsaw short game as case to the upside in a very short amount of time. I mean, if the game, if the deltas switch, if like cumulative net delta switches, yeah, you could see a little game. Like, how far can it go though? Forty nine is looking mighty good at AMC. Everett, please try and not use price as what looks good. Try and search more towards value, um, because price and value are different and when you think when you le when when we were all talking about it and i'm not going to go on a rant here I, I just think this is a good thing to say when we were all talking about it with the with what was going on in the in the short squeeze potential and then adam aaron coming out and saying pounce 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 it's like all right you got to listen to that a little bit because he has done some pretty cool things in the past it's like all right well let's see where it goes but then the problem was is that you took about 40 percent of the equity and made it something that was non-dilutable dilutable and then people didn't like that because they were like uh oh i know they're gonna dilute that's the whole purpose of it so then they ditched it which then makes it even harder for them to raise money in in further dilutes it more so it's like I, I didn't like it when that came out i was like no i don't i do not like this this is incredibly dangerous for investors because the problem is is that people don't know and you can see the reaction. Uh, you saw the reaction that I got um, on the video that I made. People just don't understand. 
We saw it happen after. It dropped, what, 90-something percent with only $160 million raised? I think that's pathetic, especially when you have a retail base that saved the company. Now, granted, they need more money. But this is very, very similar to what we were saying earlier, where these companies, and it's slightly different because it's not necessarily a hyper-growth new company. But remember what we were talking about this morning on the on the private stream, where we were thinking, we were talking about, and this is another aspect uh, element of, and something I heard on the All In podcast too. It's like, okay, so these companies have been able to do these giant capital raises and had just a giant war chest of cash to be able to spend pretty much how they pleased in the 2020, 2021 environment. The problem was, is that since these like rates have gone up and you're seeing these valuation resets that now all of that equity has been diluted capital. Again, all the existing investors get written down massively, meaning that their investment gets written down like, I don't know, 50 to 70%. Then they have to explain to investors what happened and they're going to be all angry about that and they won't be able to raise as much money. So they're spending money like lots winners and they nobody ever knows again and how much so they're spending money and you're like well you better be able to make money off of this right now which they won't be able to uh, investors lost in this no matter how you look at it yeah 100 he just kind of did his own thing L legally he can do whatever he wants because of the way that it was set up. The problem is, is that it didn't work. And I got so much heat for it, but at the same time, I know that the reasoning behind both sides of it came out as winners. And most of them are still on this stream here. So it is what it is. I mean, that's just kind of my thoughts. It's not even necessarily company specific. It's just kind of like, it's almost like, like it's hard to correct term for it. It would be more so like uh, it's a capital allocation problem. What's going on with Tesla? It's just screwing around here. So now Invictus is nine for 18, 50% of the day. It can't get much lower. It can though, Everett. That's the thing that people don't realize. It can. Because the, I mean, if you think about just normal valuations, book value is negative. So, uh, if you are in under ten, you would be able to get out. Uh, could be two years. It could be a long time. Yeah, Carl, you said something earlier that I really liked. What was that? What'd you say? You said something that I really liked. Oh yeah, the turntables and beat matching. Yeah, yeah, I should definitely do that. Yeah, maybe that's what I should ask for for Christmas. I don't want to anything ever if i want something i just i dude i got these i bought these uh i bought these all white boots and they're kind of sick i didn't even because my friends were like oh let's just go like shopping and i was like all right i'm not gonna buy anything i'm like the worst shopper ever and then i <laughs> we all got these white boots so do as they please stocks down 80 percent can go down another 80 percent follow the system and react don't try and predict exactly be reactive not predictive leave the predicting to the predictive algorithms that we have they're better at it than everybody else spy rim in the 13 tapped it right here selling back off uh technics 1220 i probably wouldn't do that i'd probably get like uh what's the thing that you can hit i don't even know what they're called but i feel like i'd be really good at it uh, that's one of the problems with the short time frame that many have been trading in the market. It seems like the market will always recover soon. Historically, uh, you see potential decade long waits. Exactly. Paul, hundred percent. This is something that I've heard a lot of people say my generation of people in the market are probably now until thir like 30 years old, 35. They've never really seen a bear market. People over that age, they've seen them. Uh, what would you recommend for people who are on a time disadvantage like me in Korea. Honestly, I think you could, I think futures wouldn't be the, the worst thing in the world. I don't know what the time difference actually is. What are you behind 10 hours? I would say about maybe 10 hours, six hours maybe, because California is three from Eastern. So maybe you're six to 10. 
So you'd have to wake up super early. I'm in the world. Crypto, you can get away with if you're if you're you're ahead. You're ahead twelve. So technically, you could also say you're trying to get an MPC. I don't know what any of this stuff is, guys. Like I have no idea. I just know I could. Like if I were to do music stuff, I think I could do it very well. It's just the way my brain works. Math, I'm really good at. Uh, Bitcoin futures, they go 24 seven. Yeah. Uh, like index futures trade a lot too. You could trade. I mean, with 1348, you won't have necessarily have like direct alerts. Uh, if you're swing trading with like Pythagoras and stuff and Trader Joe, you you'll be fine. Yeah. That's an interesting problem, Everett. Um, I mean, you could also try to trade in your own markets as well. It's 420 Tuesday here in Korea. Oh, wow. You could, I mean, you could, just go, yeah, Dale, that's not a solution. But I mean, you could try to trade in your own markets. I don't know what the derivatives are like over there. I don't know what it's like to trade in Korea. I mean, you could try like you foreign exchange markets, crypto futures, things like that. Like, because uh, I don't know how you would get access to the US markets and things like that. I just have never had experience with it. Uh, I'm an American just stationed here in Korea until 2025. Well, thank you for your service, Everett. I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. For doing music, how do you figure out time management between investing music, 13 for uh, social life? I'll just do it for fun. I, like, music production, DJing is like 25% math and timing. Yep. yep. Which is, I mean, I can do that. Sleepy, there's time for everything. It's all, it's, the, you, you, this is the thing. When people say they don't have enough time to do things, most of the time they do. Like, if I say I don't have enough time for things, it's usually because I'm tired from doing other things. Like I do sometimes have time. Uh, I just signed up. So where do I start now? I'm looking at Invictus, but I'm using E-Trade to do trading. Air up and in. We really appreciate that. Um, where I would start was all, uh, all the curriculum videos. So if you actually come over here, uh, the learning library is down uh, at the bottom on the left. So I would watch and study all of those videos. And what we always like to say is start paper trading. Uh, to really learn the system, to make sure that you're not really uh, real money at risk, to actually learn how your brokerage actually works. And then again, the next step is learning the discipline and emotional psychological uh, management skills uh, with real money, which we do a lot of. Um, my videos about the stop loss strategy, reversals and risk management are going to be super helpful for you. Um, I'm going to start a section uh, of the community. Those are already out publicly. Um, but those are going to be super helpful for you. But watch those curriculum videos, interact with the community, make sure that you get a, your Discord account connected to the platform and you can hop in uh, to all the chats that we have. But yeah, guys, remember you do have that two-week free trial period. Um, and I'll throw that link in the live chat as well here. Yeah, like I've always thought like randomly in the back of my head that I could be like a sick music producer. I would just have to learn it. Could see you being a sick ass uh, music recording engineer. I think I could do it, man. Like, I, uh, maybe I'll start doing that next year. A little hobby. I mean, I don't have many hobbies. I drink really well. Like, I'm good at drinking. Do I have any music production software? I don't. Leasing samples or beats, if you're good, it's very profitable. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would do it, man. Do you have a checklist uh, of rules? Uh, you can ask Diana for it. There was one floating around for a while. Uh, beats by Jay. Definitely do that. Uh, da, 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 da. I saw a link for the daily live videos on the platform. Yes, eventually, yeah. For now, though, we're still using uh, Discord as our like community chat feature. You guys want to not so much drinking? Music production is going to be part of your YouTube channel? Nice. I mean, maybe I'll start doing it. I've always thought I could do it. Um, we'll see, though. Beatmaker 3 for iPad is all you need? Well, I don't have an iPad, so... Uh, you have to talk about how much is left on a run to make it worthwhile with spy run. Now, how do you decide if a one minute rim is worth the scalp trades or not? It's a good question. <sighs> it's a really good question. So honestly, if you're, this is how it depends every single day. So if you're already green, I wouldn't touch it. If you're already red, depends on how much red you got to be very careful with it. Almost, almost both a a like avenues there lead to the same thing which means probably don't touch it. Um, usually, Paul, it's it's levels. Um, and using that the, the, the elements from that risk management video to give myself a good risk-reward opportunity. If it doesn't work, I want to make sure 
that the level at which I'm putting my risk at on the chart is close. So in a bear market is the key puts? Yeah. Yeah, puts. I mean, again, the definition of a put is you own the right to sell 100 shares of stock uh, on or before a specified date. So it's essential against the position. So if I had 100 shares of a stock and the stock was trading at 100 and I bought one put contract with a strike of 95, I know that if the, those shares go down to 90, I can still sell them at 95. That's what a put contract does. A put is just insurance. Uh, you're wondering how to survive a bear market successfully? Thanks, as we always appreciate your take. Paul, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, Everett, if you want to get really fancy with it, there are hedging strategies, but usually it doesn't make sense unless you have lots of money to do, like million plus. Uh, rallies come from the market to a very and eh, maybe your AMC is down 78.1. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, again, I, I tried to warn everybody about what happened with uh, Ape. Again, when 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 I I was looking at what Adam Aaron said. I was kind of like, all right, well, if he's cool, let's see what he wants to do. And then right as it came out, I was like, it was almost like putting your hand on a stove. So as soon as Abe came out, it was like, turn, like your hand's on the stove and you're like, is it going to come on cold or is it going to come on hot? And it came on full. And I was like, no. Yeah, I mean, we were saying too, like even before, if you go back to a lot of those live streams, I mean, you'll find clips of me saying, guys, it's probably going to run up into the dividend date and then sell off. That's most likely what's going to happen. It just depends on how much it was going to happen. Abe got you completely out of debt. Would you short it? So you sold 1,300 Abe shares at 901? Jeez, dude. Do you think he regrets doing Abe? I don't know. I honestly don't know because tech, they like Adam Aaron still has a boatload of, AM I mean, I don't really want to talk about this too much because it's not helpful for anybody. I mean, he still has a lot of AMC shares. He's cashed out a lot though. So, and it's a trade off and it's an opportunity question, opportunity cost question of this is the $160 million of capital raised going to increase the market cap by more than by yeah it, i think he does i don't think there's any way around it because you you then have to find out a way to somehow increase the mark the value of the company by million past the levels at which it was before they did the spin-off dividend stuff which i don't think is very realistic so i would say i think he does but he's bought himself like little time, I guess. I don't know. You miss hearing me answering these types of questions? Yeah, I mean, I, I told you guys, I'm kind of done ranting about it. It's just like, it is what it is. Um, and nothing I say here is like anything that's like, oh, it's going to be great. I mean, I feel like I was pretty honest with you guys with how I thought about it the entire time. Um, and again, I took a lot of heat for it. It's fine. Uh, it is what it is. I don't care. That's the thing. Like if I see something that's bad in the market, I'm going to tell you, like, I'm not going to use you guys to generate YouTube revenue. Remember I was like, when we were doing like the, the streams, the AMC stuff, when we were heading into the, on YouTube. Um, but again, when things change, I'm not going to sit there and tell you that it's okay. I'm going to tell you that it's nonsense. I don't care that like the YouTube money is going to go down. I give zero shits. I want to make sure that you guys have the best information. If people are going to yell at me, send me death threats, do all that nonsense about it. It is what it is. Because at the end of the day, I know that I'm giving you guys the most accurate information that I possibly can about the situation, breaking it down. Here's the information, make a decision. What does it indicate when the VIX moves in the same direction as the market? <laughs> little divergence there. I don't really use the VIX much anymore as an indication of like volatility or it's just a little broken. Like I use the dollar in the tenure. 
short-term pain to get the long-term success. Yeah, it is what it is, but Lisa, yeah, maybe, maybe we could do that ever again. It, it, like, again, I don't want you guys, I, like, it's nice that you guys want to send me things and, and do all that. But I, all I care about is making sure that you guys have the tools to make money in the market and learn things and how to read um, the data that comes out or overall market conditions in a way that you may not have been able to pre. Would love to send you some souvenirs for Korea. Oh, that would be cool, man. All right. Spies hunting lows here. Tessie slipping a little bit. Let's see. Did Roblox end up getting that cross? No, it didn't. Wow. Am I in a hotel? I am in a hotel. <laughs> no, I'm in Florida for the week. And then next Monday, I'll be back in uh, in Boston. Maybe some snacks to eat on the stream. That would be pretty cool. I would try them out. Let's see here. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to be wrapping up the live stream for today. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on the way out and make sure that you guys are taking full advantage of the free trials uh, that we are offering you guys. You guys all get access to that two weeks free right now. If you aren't in there yet, there is the link right there. Make sure you guys hop in there before tomorrow. So you're going to be there for all of the live streams, get access to all the curriculum videos, the community, the algorithms, the unusual options data, everything that we have to offer right now. And again, uh, we're going to have some more updates for you guys on the affiliate program for those in there with us again, but for right now, for those of you guys that aren't in there two weeks free, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream today. We're going to be back on tomorrow. Um, and again, shout out to all you guys that are really, really trying to better yourselves in the market. What's the 10 year, uh, it's the 10 year bond yields. Um, but yeah, guys love you all. I'll see you guys later. 8 p.m. stream tonight. Yep, we will be live at 8 p.m. I think what we're going to do is, is a nice little 30-minute uh, risk management session with you guys. So um, you guys have that risk management video, but I want to make sure, because risk man management is the most important part um, of trading, and I want to make sure that people have their, their – I don't want people taking on too much risk than they need to be because a lot of people don't realize they're taking on um so guys i'll see you there in the community make sure that you guys are taking advantage of that two-week free trial other than that i'll see you oh yes this is the other thing we do have uh some short form videos coming out tonight so make sure that you guys are on instagram and tiktok with me short to vix one follow me over there other than that team see you later happy printing